is Talk About a Thing. He's lived in Shanghai as a foreigner and experienced some odd things. He used to live in Sweden and he likes to talk about web development, programming, working online, and freelancing. There's a lot to unpack, so let's do it. This is Talk About a Thing. And now your host, Perala Hummer. Hello and welcome to Talk About a Thing. I'm your host. And today, we're diving into the fascinating world of business tech trends for 2023. So, strap in, grab your favorite beverage, and let's embark on this tech-filled journey together. When the COVID-19 pandemic forced lockdown restrictions in the first half of 2020, business technology across every industry was forced to evolve and expand rapidly though the direct consequences of those protective measures have started fading. The momentum driving business tech into the future hasn't slowed in the slightest. As with any technology, it will continue to evolve as new focuses and tools change how businesses manage data, interact with customers, make decisions, and more. Knowing what to expect over the coming year can help business leaders identify which trends are the most likely to impact their industries and possibly improve their bottom lines. These are the trends that the Forbes Technology Council predicts will most impact 2023. A major contributor to the world's digital transformation, 5G technology, may also hold the key to finally closing the digital divide. This digital divide refers to unequal access to and use of high-speed internet and other digital technologies across different communities and countries. According to Qualcomm's 5G and the Digital Divide Report, this divide is the new face of inequality. Based on stats from the International Telecommunication Union that cite 37% of the world's population is still offline, they may be right. Those in less developed countries with limited fixed infrastructure benefit from the more reliable connections and faster mobile broadband speeds that 5G technology provides. With increased market competition and lower deployment costs, 5G technology has become a highly affordable and viable alternative to fiber for fixed broadband. And with better 5G networks comes better access to 5G home internet service, also known as 5G Fixed Wireless Access, FWA. This improved access translates into improved economic growth in regions where mobile is the main source of connectivity and the closing of the digital divide. Social commerce has radically changed the way online shopping works today by carefully blending a sense of urgency with the usual buying and selling of traditional e-commerce. It is steadily altering who impacts the global economy. Smaller sellers, influencers, and creators are embracing new technologies and features to find new avenues for attracting consumers and tipping market shares in their favor. Two main factors contributed to this change in the balance of the e-commerce market. First, The COVID-19 pandemic accelerated the adoption of social media marketplaces and forever altered how the average consumer shops on and offline. The second can also be attributed to the pandemic, when calls to support small businesses and buy local grew exponentially among consumers. In the hyper-socially connected and technology-enabled world of today, all the strategies networks, and tools that drive social commerce initiatives are far more powerful than the more traditional, linear e-commerce tactics businesses employed until now. As the more socially influenced millennial and Gen Z population spending power grows, so too will the power of social commerce. As you know, the Internet of Things, IoT, refers to the constantly growing number of everyday physical objects that are connected to the Internet, connected with one another, and able to communicate and share information with us and each other. Although this is not always the case, they are also often automated or part of an automated system. 
it all began with computers and then smartphones being able to connect to and surf the Internet. These days, there's no telling what may or may not have connectivity capabilities. From smart TVs and kitchen appliances to smart alarm systems and light bulbs, we've become used to seeing smart machinery in the workplace, people driving smart cars, and some individuals are even living in smart cities. McKinsey M. Company predicts that more than 43 billion devices will connect to the Internet in 2023. And each of these will generate, collect, share, and help to utilize all manner of data in a multitude of ways. The biggest segment of this market is expected to be IoT-enabled health devices, with wearables and in-home sensors effectively creating virtual hospital wards. Web3, or Web3.0 as it's also known, refers to a series of technologies that make up what is effectively a decentralized Internet. With Web2.0, or the Internet as we know it currently, huge corporations like Facebook and Google set most, if not all, of the rules about what we can and can't do online. With Web3, the technologies behind cryptocurrencies, non-fungible tokens, NFTs, blockchains, and decentralized autonomous organizations, DAOs, provide tools that allow us to truly own our online spaces. They even go so far as to implement digital democracies. That is the idea, at least. But concerns are growing that Web3 will simply mean the power of the Internet transfers from one current group of technocrats to a new group. And when sustainability and efforts to reduce our environmental impact are finally becoming a focus of both consumers and the CEOs of major corporations, the amount of electricity needed to run blockchain technology is a serious challenge. We can still expect to see more regulation and government intervention in Web3 spaces, greenified Web3 efforts, useful NFTs, and more decentralized social networks over the coming year. Ask anyone what they think the biggest tech trend of 2023 will be, and the metaverse will likely be on the list. While the technologies that will keep a metaverse up and running exist already, the problem is that they aren't yet suitable for commercial or mass deployment. This year we'll likely see a lot of development in making devices that can access metaverses quickly more affordable. This is because metaverses have a lot of potential benefits. During the pandemic, depression and mental health issues spiked as people struggled to deal with the isolation caused by lockdown restrictions. With a metaverse, that degree of isolation wouldn't occur, as we'd be able to visit each other for real in the digital world. Digital twins are another aspect of metaverses that will see a lot of development over the coming year. These digital twins are dynamic virtual duplicates of a physical object, process, system, or environment. Their main feature is that they look and behave identically to their real-world counterparts, allowing for rigorous product testing without the need for expensive prototypes. Digital twin technology is one of the fastest growing concepts of Industry 4.0, with the convergence of the underlying technologies, including sensors, cloud computing, AI, advanced analytics, simulation, and more. Digital twin solutions will assist in improved operation and maintenance of everything from air preheaters and wind turbines to boilers and entire power plants. These different advancements combined will help reduce costs and improve sustainability across industries of all shapes and sizes in the long run. In fact, a study by Gartner reveals that 13% of organizations that have implemented IoT projects are already using digital twins, while 62% plan to do so, or are currently working on establishing a digital twin solution. The key factor driving the growth of the digital twin market are goals to cut down costs and reduce product development timelines. With digital twins, companies can accelerate their risk assessment and production times, testing and validating that a product works how it's supposed to, 
without the need for a potentially expensive prototype. It is also easier to perform predictive maintenance and monitor critical equipment in real time thanks to the multitude of IoT sensors used in digital twin systems. Intelligent buildings are facilities that use sensors and automation to control every aspect of managing that facility, from lights and space occupancy to energy consumption. This is not some futuristic technology still in the development stages. Intelligent HVAC systems for factories and office buildings already exist, as do automated electrical grids or so-called smart grids. While smart buildings is a common synonym for these, it's important to understand the very real difference between smart buildings and intelligent buildings. A smart building has interfaces that real people interact with to control and optimize facility management based on provided data. Intelligent buildings, on the other hand, are almost entirely autonomous. What's more, improvements in the underlying technologies will make entire smart cities a real feature of the future. More advanced sensors mean better data gathering. At the same time, improved data processing power means more can be done with that data. And finally, improvements in AI and machine learning will mean more intelligent decisions can be made with that data. Artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning, ML, are not just the products of science fiction anymore. In fact, they're a multi-billion dollar industry that is revolutionizing how we understand and use the massive amounts of data we collect and have access to today. From such simple processes as helping businesses monitor their inventories to such complex ones as supporting cutting-edge cancer research, ML and AI are enhancing and disrupting existing processes across virtually every aspect of society. According to research by Hilomic, the global AI space is expected to grow to a whopping $20 billion by 2025. A 2021 PwC survey found that just some of the benefits that different types of organizations are seeing with the implementation of AI and ML include but are not limited to. Better customer experiences. 86% of respondents said they could improve customer experiences with the assistance of AI, which improved customer satisfaction and, therefore, brand loyalty. Decision-making based on real data. 75% of business leaders stated that AI has helped them improve their strategy and decision-making from the top down, leading to competitive advantages and better outcomes. Innovations increased. 75% of the organizations that have fully implemented an AI solution said that they were able to be innovative about improving their existing offerings to better fit what their customers need. Higher productivity levels. Almost two-thirds of organizations reported that implementing AI solutions helped to boost their productivity. With the right tools in place, AI acts as a support system that makes people's jobs easier and helps them do more with less. Artificial Intelligence as a Service, AIIS, makes it possible for companies of all sizes to access AI software from third-party vendors rather than having to invest in in-house development. This means that they can get all the benefits that AI and its advanced data analytics capabilities provide with a smaller upfront investment. Depending on which third-party they choose, they can utilize drag-and-drop functionality to build entirely customized solutions for their business or customize existing solutions to suit their needs. AI AS is an ideal solution for small and mid-sized companies to take advantage of what AI offers without having to build or implement their own solutions. AI AS essentially offers a way around trying to adapt off-the-shelf solutions to suit your needs and allows your data science teams to focus on the custom and unique to your business data and scenarios that can impact your daily operations. With an AIAS platform, ultimate flexibility allows you to scale your solution up or down to meet your business needs as necessary. 
Implementing a composable business model means creating a company built from the ground up with interchangeable building blocks. These composable businesses are the next natural evolution of the digitally transformed business you work at daily, and it allows companies to deliver the agility and resilience that today's rapidly changing consumer environment demands. The pandemic highlighted just how much vulnerability existed in business models that focused on efficiency over flexibility. Those that were smart pivoted to a more modular style of business setup and the so-called composable business was officially born. With a modular setup, businesses can reorient and rearrange elements in response to external or internal factors. At the heart of composable businesses are composable technologies, or tools, platforms, services, and more that are easily integrated into whatever part of a workflow they need to be in. The secret to building composable businesses is being flexible, fluid, continuous, and also improvisational. With those concepts in mind, you can create a more adaptable and powerful form of business dealing with continuing business disruptions as a core feature. What you may have noticed about the business technology trends mentioned is that they all have the potential to be disruptive and transformative, and collectively, many of these trends are already powering business efforts all over the world. This means that smaller businesses need to do their research on which of these technologies will have the most impact on their industry and be the most beneficial to their company before they decide which of them to invest in and adopt. For example, a marketing firm may want to invest in AI-driven data analytics software. A manufacturing company, on the other hand, would be most interested in automated facilities management software there is no such thing as one-size-fits-all regarding technology and business. What works brilliantly for one of your competitors may not work at all for you. Something absolutely perfect for your business may be completely useless to the other businesses on your block. But whether you're looking to gain a competitive advantage, stay relevant in a fast-changing world, or innovate your products and services to better accommodate your customers, these business tech trends are the most likely to become permanent features in successful organizations of the future. As we come to the end of this exciting episode of Talk About a Thing, I hope you found our exploration of these 2023 business tech trends both informative and inspiring. It's truly a remarkable time to be at the intersection of technology and business, witnessing these incredible shifts that are reshaping industries and creating new opportunities. But remember, the world of technology is ever evolving and staying ahead of the curve is crucial. Whether you're a seasoned business leader or an aspiring entrepreneur, the key takeaway here is to embrace change, remain adaptable, and keep your finger on the pulse of emerging trends. Technology will continue to be a driving force in the business landscape and by staying informed and innovative, you can position yourself and your organization for a successful future. So thank you for joining me on this journey through the exciting world of business tech trends. I look forward to exploring more fascinating topics with you in the episodes to come. Until next time, stay curious, stay tech savvy, and always remember to talk about a thing. You've been listening to Talk About a Thing. Parala has lived an interesting life. From life as a foreigner in Shanghai to social media and technology in China, web development, programming, working online, freelancing, he covers a lot. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you did, make sure to like, rate, and review. We'll be back soon. But in the meantime, hit us up on all the social media networks at Parallel Hummer. See you next time on Talk About a Thing.